So we'll continue with cells. This is part two. We talked about insert and delete in the previous part. So we will be continue with format. I launch. I launch. I launch. I launch. I launches the dialog box too. So we we'll go straight to the box. We started talking about some commands and features here. So we'll go straight to format cells. Try right, to open the dialog box. All these sections are already in the format. You know it's formatting that we've been doing. We've been changing the place of the alignment, we've been changing the font size and face and all of that. So it's all format. We can access all of it in the format command button. Well, this is number. You can change any number of our type. It's on general by default. You can change it to number where we have different numbering decimal decimal places. You can choose more than two and do it here in number. Currency. We have currency here too have accounting and all of that you see see, see here the so fraction percentage you can as well customize your number say this is already we are on address let's go back to a different location we can uh, a different cell i mean we want to format such that this place will take a particular number format and use like three and to take a particular number from my we'll go to customize so instead of using general now we we'll go to custom instead of using general now we'll type what we want to have we put it in in code because it's going to be text I have address numbers so we add it to maybe one four digits of our numbers there okay now not see any difference but if you type one here see address number one two address number two three and address number three now that's how to achieve that you can as well make other formats like alignment we even have rotate orientation here it will be slightly aligned something like this that's that six degrees click ok see how your, your content will be rotated you have tab for fonts you can change fonts here you change its face change its style change its size maybe you want to you want this one to be area black that's the this is a preview i want it irregular it's already on regular maybe you want it italicized so it's bent or regular then we want the font face to be maybe 14 points we have on the line if you need anyone we can put here the single double and all of that we have strike through superscript and subscript if you can if you want to achieve that you can do that here now i want to rotate the alignment to normal so that it will not take more space and this is it so we have something like this as well, we can as well look i just did that now because i was changing the font and i went back to change the alignment on the alignment tab so so you can change everything on these tabs 
Now when you get back, you have all.